Greenfield Village! <laughs> Welcome everybody to another edition of Historical Geocaching on the road with Geocacher T and Photobug from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Today I'm so excited. I'm here at Greenfield Village, an awesome outdoor history museum in Dearborn, Michigan. There's so much here. I'm super excited to try to film as much of it as I can over the two days I'll be visiting this awesome museum that was founded by Henry Ford back in 1929. But anyway, we are first going to the Model T ride, so come along with me as I head into the past of riding on a true icon of Americana. <laughs> Centennial is the cars that Ford Motor Company built especially for the village here. Okay. Uh, they are authentic 1914 cars. Wow. And they are listed in the National Register as 1914 cars. And the Museum Society of America says they're 1914 cars. Wow. And they are worthy of being declared an artifact for the museum. Since this is a museum, sure. uh, the artifact aspect makes a little more prestigious when you can say, I gotta ride around a beautiful village in an artifact. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, for most people it's just a fun ride. Uh, sure. but, as a presenter, we try to let people know a little bit about the cars, and if they have any questions, we try to answer them. And, but we're not limited to the cars. We can uh, answer questions about the cars. Uh, we can answer questions about the We do such things like identifying Moving County Courthouse is a place where Abraham Lincoln actually practiced law before he became a U.S. Senator and then made a president. A lot of people don't realize that. How fast can you go on it? Not on downhill, but straight down. Straight down the road. Well, they took it out of Lake St. Clair in the wintertime. Need the snow all, put some sand down, put some markers out, and guess what? Yeah. We did 46, 45 to 47 miles an hour. So when we tell them they'll do 45, everybody's like, ah, oh, it's not true. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> it was verified. Is it a scary 45 or is it? No, no, it's, it's, it's reasonably uh, smooth. Yeah. Uh, the, they, they learned a lot. Uh, remember, Henry built the cars that would go almost 90 miles an hour before he built the Model T. And 
great at getting investors involved. Sure, sure. You know, yeah, winning yeah. the races and things right. like that. The marketing. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, uh, they knew how to stabilize the car with the proper steering uh, alignments and things like that. Yeah. And uh, the car being the Model T, especially. <coughs> It's so solid and built. <clears throat> a lot of people don't realize it. It's a three-point suspension on both front and rear, you know. A uh, loose springs coming out like that, both from the center, and the car hardly rolls at all. They did something right. And what it was is he, he took the rear spring and nested it about a foot above the uh, axle into the frame and uh, when the, as soon as the spring starts to lean one way or the other, it snugs up against the frame so the frame stays reasonably flat and that prevents any twisting of the body because these bodies are all wood. Oh yeah. They're, the metal that you see in here on the car, it's all there to protect the wood. And it works quite well. Now, the weakest part of the body uh, turns out to be the floorboard, because well, they don't have any metal on the there. And it would soon be destroyed by all the crash goes up against it, the paint and anything like that doesn't work too well, but the wood lasts quite a while. And you tell people that's why he always orders his parts from different suppliers to send them in wood crates. And they said, oh, so he could use them for his cohort. I said, oh, he sent all of his supplies to his dealers in those same and the dealers could use them as a wood to the floorboard with an aftermarket. And it saved him a lot of money. It saved everybody a lot of money. And Henry was very good at that, saving money. Well, this about wraps sums up my uh, Model T ride at Greenfield Village video. I hope that you really enjoyed it. Many, many more Greenfield Village videos coming down the pipeline. If this is the first time you've watched any of my videos, thank you so much. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button because each and every week I post weekly, uh, weekly videos of me visiting historical sites like Greenfield Village. And I'm sure you wouldn't want to miss any of that. So thank you to all for watching. Be sure to check out all my videos at youtube.com slash tnphotobug. And until next time, this is Geocacher TN Photobug signing out. I'm Indeed Abbott. A blast of the past.